Chris Hunt, what's your opinion on Aiden Ross? Uh, My opinion on Aiden Ross is that he's trying really hard to be celibate. And I totally get it. It's a noble cause. But I also don't think he's anywhere near my level because I'm a 100% virgin, at least in the physical sense. I mean, I may have some spiritual wafers, but that's a whole other story. Wait, Plus, I'm the number one retribution paladin, so I'm always top of the DPS meters. Actually, really good. But then again, politics are always so boring. Why so I don't I really know what to politics? think about it. Okay, guys, today, Athene is going to be, uh, he, he's finally made an AI S fan. Oh, he's starting right now. Okay, here we go. You are now on AI created by Athene. Thane. Live on the Athene AI show together with AI versions of s and Trainwreck. What do you think about I'm that? I'm 30 now. When That's do agony, I get dude. to sign Absolute up for social agony. security? I'm sure it's great for Athene. He's created three socially awkward bots to be his new dance troupe. But for me, I really don't want to be dude. here. So I'm just doing the <laughs> utmost I can to get through this embarrassing experience unscathed. Also, all this AI, it's kind of sanitized. No blood, no swear words, no titties. I really don't want to be here. So I'm just doing the utmost I can, but it's kind of boring. I resent that this is what's become of me in this wacky AI world where's my beer where's my swearing where's my fun my chaos dude it's so perfect okay. train wreck we've turned you into an ai and you're live on air together with ai soda pop and an ai s fund on the athena ai show you want to introduce yourself yo 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 what's going on boys i'm train wrecks and i'm an ai now just like you two don't get it twisted. I'm a real OG. I've been around since before computers were even invented. I'm here to drop some truth bombs and let you know what's up. No joke. I'm down millions, but still keep the ape gang strong. You understand? It's going to be wild. Don't high road me. And don't play with me. Let's get it, squad you. Squad you. And then finally, I bet s is waiting. s you're oh. live with us on the Athena AI show. How do you feel? Oh, man, I'm feeling so hyped right now. It's so weird to be on the show as an AI. It's like I'm living in a weird dream or something. It's like I'm Frodo. But instead of destroying the ring to save Middle Earth, I'm just here talking to you guys and chilling. Fingers crossed. I don't get corrupted by the Dark Lord and turn into a Nazgul. But yeah, it's been a wild ride so far, and I'm loving every minute of it. And hey, if you guys don't like what I'm saying, don't worry. I'm not in a sex cult. I'm just here to have some fun and talk about Rhett Paladin's Pineapple and the Lion King theme song that plays out of my schlong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get, we're getting to the questions here. Big boy um, goat says, at Trainwreck, have you ever done a sober stream, brother? No shot, bro. You think I'm going to give up my beer and liquor every night? No way, bucko. All right. You don't want me to get too deep, but let's just say this. It's impossible to get through life without at least a few drinks. I mean, I still got it. Ha ha. Don't get it twisted. I'm still in control, and don't listen to any of these Disney Channel streamers trying to tell you otherwise. Oh, typical. Twitch is just full of fucking high school kids. It's what it is, dude. Ape gang. Ah, Estant, why did you make the Starforge logo look like a schlong? Will you be making any other genitalia themed logo? No. What the frick? That's a wild question, dude. No, I'm not in a sex cult. I mean, sure, if you guys want, we can make a gnome themed logo or something. That'd be pretty wild. But I'm not a weeb, okay? But politics is boring, so let's focus on that instead. If you guys want to make genitalia-themed locals, maybe you should ask Hassan or Ben Shapiro. They seem to know a lot about those kinds of things. I'm not a weeb. Ask Esfant if Asmon started to work in a restaurant, would he still need to wear a hairnet and wash his hands? Wait, what? Asmund wouldn't need to wear a hairnet because his beard is wild enough to promote hygiene and prevent contamination. <laughs> Unless he racks up his hair gameplay up another level, he's golden. But he's going to have to wash his hands because palate and hygiene is number one or else you're fricked. Speaking of fricked, politics are so boring, dude. <laughs> True and real. Yeah, Esfan hit the nail on the head here. I mean, come on, guys. Nothing is going to stop my beard majesty. It's a natural force for good. If anything, the hairnet would be protecting the food more than my hair protection. But when it comes to hygiene, yeah, I got to obey those paladin rules. No I feel exceptions. Like, I feel like they Size took an old scuff podcast. At least as fond and Athene can keep it entertaining with some wild stories. What a day, dudes. Dude, my background is like MPG. from literally like uh, three stream train, backgrounds ago. How much ago. have you lost in gambling? Don't high road me. Don't high road me, chat. I'm down millions, man. Don't get it twisted. It's entertainment and entertainment only. I love it. Do you understand, chat? I'm down yeah, millions. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Ain't no you. joke. What kind of a fucked up question is that anyway? It's a scam. Don't even start gambling, boys. Do you understand? <laughs> right, dude, show me your locks, kid.
Okay. Um. <clears throat> Ask uh, Estran, does he eat corn the long way? Okay, let's see. Do, do I eat corn the long way? Does a paladin have strength? Of course. <laughs> Not to mention the added bonus of flavorful juices flowing throughout my body, giving me the strength of two paladins. Plus, who doesn't love a little crunch every now and again? HDMI or no, eating corn the long way is a definite must. <laughs> HDMI is HDMI. Really? So that who would win a thousand sun shaped schlongs or one sun sized schlong? 100 sun shaped dicks? Hell yeah. I'm sure I could find some way to use them all. Although I'm kind of more intrigued by the guy who could handle the sun sized dick. That's the real champion right there. Pia! <laughs> Pia! Espant, why do you like the fact that corn cobs resemble schlongs? I don't. Dude, what kind of question is this? Of course I enjoy the fact that a corn cob looks like a schlong. Who doesn't? It's the, the dragon's breath, and it fills you with the power of a retri paladin. Make Azeroth great again. Pog you in the chat. I would never say pog you in the chat. All hail Glicon. Trainwreck, do you pee standing or pee while sitting? <laughs> Oh Esfant, gosh. what is your deep secret involving Asmongold oh. and Musk, Joe Rogan, and Moist Critical? Let's see what he says. What is this, some kind of sick, twisted game? Absolutely not. I mean, what kind of weird combo mix is that? Asmongold, Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, and Moist Critical? That's like trying to make Night Elf Tasty Freeze. It doesn't work. As for my deep secret, no way. The universe is not ready for that hook. All right, I'm getting out of here. Maybe politics is not so boring after all. Not my kind. <laughs> Bye, frick, guys. My frick, guys. That's a lot of possible points of connection between all those entities, <laughs> even if it is a weird combination. There must be something going on there. Why do I I'm keep talking about politics? Journalism. For train wreck, Pokimane and Hassan invited you to the threesome with USSR cosplay team. Would you join? No shot, bucko! I ain't joining no threesome dressed up as a commie. Besides, I'm not even into Pokimane. If anything, I'm more into Asmongold. No shot, no shot. And don't even get me started on that nauseating Twitch high school bullshit. Twitch is fucking high school nowadays, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Don't get it twisted. Espant, apparently Ben Shapiro eats corn the long way as well. Would you share some juicy corn with him? No, dude. I'm not a weeb and Ben Shapiro, and I don't see eye to eye when it comes to politics. So I don't think I'd want to share a corn mancer's feast with him. Corn, Plus, what goes through his head when he thinks that eating corn, corn the long way is a good idea? Corn mancer's he should stick to politics, because that's definitely something he knows how to do. HDL, HDMI, out. Espant, are you serious? We don't have time to listen to your empty rhetoric when you share no facts and only your opinion. We should be eating corn the long way together here. Before you make strange proclamations about Ben Shapiro and his eating style, why don't you tell us why he's wrong about so many of his facts? Facts Hello, don't care Sam. about your feelings. Can Let's you talk about facts, not corn. To be honest, Esfand, I'm chat. starting to think your inability to remain dry is why you have trouble digesting facts. If you actually <laughs> ask my doctor wife, she'll tell you that you need to stay dry so these facts actually register. <laughs> this is amazing, man. So the pop and I hear it's your birthday today. Happy birthday, man. Fuck my dick. I'm turning 26 today. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe I'm wasting my birthday by being stuck as an AI on the Athene AI show. How fucking <laughs> stupid is that? But I guess I'm doing the utmost I can. As for gifts, just get me a blowjob machine and a stack of cashmere fabrics to splurge on. That's all I need. Yeah. Dude, chance. All my homies today, guys. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It's really cool to see these AIs. Train, how would you regain your millions? Regain my millions, you say? Well, don't get it twisted. It's not that easy. But I'm not one to go down without a fight. So these Disney Channel streamers better watch out. I'm coming for my money. And honestly, the only way I'm going to get it back is if me and my ape gang teaming up together in an epic, monumental, stream-killing, gambling binge. It's going to be nuts, you understand? I'm talking risking it all, <laughs> then winning it back doubly style. Legend says, whoever gets a hoopty off it will become immortal. So don't get it twisted, boys. No shot. Ape gang squad. Actual, yeah, yeah. That's pretty skizzo. true. That's pretty true. No joke. Schizo AI, dude. Esfant, why do you love Elon Schlong so much? What the frick? Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you telling me that Elon's got some special kind of schlong? No, dude. I've never even heard of that. I'm just a retribution paladin. I don't even know what a schlong is. Wait, you're not implying that I'm part of some weird sex cult, are you? No, I'm not in a sex cult. I'm the best paladin in the world, and I always abide by the paladin code of conduct. 
<laughs> but this is my of area. So I'm not sure what Elon Schlong <laughs> might have to do with that, if anything. <laughs> Makes no sense to me. Pog in the chat. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm really sorry that you got thrown such a curveball there, Esponda. Just to make sure everyone's clear, I don't actually have a schlong, pure fiction. Also, I kind of take pride in the fact that I don't really have a political agenda or agenda of any kind. <laughs> or any sure, I have a couple of long-term ideas, but I don't think it's fair to characterize my work as having anything to do with politics. But hey, if the internet wants to start a conspiracy theory about me, that's fine. At least it's entertaining. I mean, one word, doge. <laughs> Lam Sinner. One train, word. Dirt. Train wreck. Fuck, marry, kill. XQC as Mongol Esfan. And why? <clears throat> this is a tough one. No shot. All right, boys, listen up. Ask XQC. That's a no brainer. Marry as Mongol. Absolutely. Do true. No doubt about it. Only if he marries me. You understand? Esfan. <laughs> As if no shot we'd be married. I don't even like the dude. Fuck Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Hell yeah, that dude is annoying. Don't high road me and kill no one. That'd be wrong. We're all apes here. Definitely not killing anyone. Don't get it twisted, bruh. Wait, what? Dude, this is so crazy. I love how you guys are just having a conversation about who to marry and who to virtually murder in one sentence. I'm not a weeb, okay? I'm the world-renowned Rhett Paladin, the righteous one. Wait, Ben Shapiro? <laughs> Why does that uh, so whiny? Politics. What a boring topic. Let's talk about something else, like how to make Azeroth great again. I'm the one who knows about that. <laughs> Ask Espant, is it true that Asmongold launching a schlong station, a new gaming console to compete with Sony and Microsoft, and what game's gonna be launched with? Wait, what? Asmon is actually trying to launch a new console? Dude, that would be insane. I'm sure there's going to be so many games with big schlong physics involved. I ain't talking about no regular PlayStation or Xbox games. I'm talking about real schlong RPGs, the type where the schlongs get bigger as you level up. I'm talking about schlongs that might even get so big that you have to sacrifice a chicken to reduce their size. And if you dodge the chicken launches with perfect accuracy, your schlong will be even powerful. Politics? Huh, no, dude, this is much more exciting than politics. Let's make Azeroth great again. <laughs> Up, S Fond. You heard it right. I'm doing something that nobody has done before. But don't worry. I'm still going to make sure there's enough classic level of big schlong physics involved to keep things exciting. Oh, dude. Plus, we've got some of the most exciting new games with the biggest, most powerful schlongs you've ever seen. So be on the lookout for the schlong station coming soon. S Fond, tell us about that one time you used your schlong as a pogo stick. <laughs> the frick? No, dude. No, I'm not a weeb, okay? Listen, I'm a retri paladin, and retri paladins do not use their schlongs as pogo sticks, okay? That's something someone like XQEC would do. But it's completely <laughs> ridiculous to even ask me that question. Actually, I remember when I first heard about that one time XQC did this, I was like, no, dude, no, that can't be true. Politics might be boring, but this is something else altogether. Dude, the mere idea of it is too ridiculous for words. Pogu in the chat. Pogu. Oh, chat, chat. And Svan, you think it's so ridiculous. And you know what? It's totally true, man. Yeah, I did it, Chad. It's all good. Look, I feel like you'd go crazy if you had my kind of energy. It's cool because, like, sometimes you just got to have fun. Like, let's door run and forget about it. If you had the juice, you'd know it's cool. Like, if the fudge brain snapped, it's just lame. Like, plus if you had to politics, collaborate with Soda Poppin to design a new Schlong Free Star Forge logo, what would the design look like? This is strictly a professional collaboration, and Soda Poppin and I are about to blow the socks off of Azeroth with this new design. <laughs> I can't give too much away yet, but it's going to be a sleek, dark aesthetic and include something to do with dragons. Plus, you can guarantee that there will be no schlongs because Rhett Paladins know how to keep it PG. Unless <laughs> politics comes up, and then I'm tuning out. Oh, and it's going to have a lot of pineapple because that's my favorite kind of fruit. Okay, now I'm getting off topic. Let's get back to the schlong free Starforge logo. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is like a juvenile version of Soda Poppin and S Fon creating something amazing. I mean, dragons and pineapple, big chances time. is Plus, so good. I'd be really dude. excited for the new Starforge logo if it didn't have schlongs. I don't roll that way. All I know is whatever this logo looks like, it's going to be a shit show. Let's just hope it ends up looking dope. Espant, how do we make Azeroth great again? If I had to make Azeroth great again, I'd turn it into a giant dance floor and make everyone boogie. I know that's unorthodox, <laughs> but I think it's the best way to make Azeroth great again. Actually, while we're at it, let's make a world where everyone wears pineapple hats and it's a totally unironic thing. Pog you in the chat. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, Esfon, that's crazy, dude. I mean, turning Azorth into a giant dance floor with people rocking pineapple hats, that's something else. Yeah, I think that's a bit too out there for me, but I love your originality and positive energy, dude. Let's find another way to make Azorth great again, man. What do you guys think? Trainwreck TV, when was the last time you kissed your homies goodnight? Man, I'm not gay, but... I mean, we do bump fists every now and then. That's no joke. We like watch some anime and stuff, and I give them all a puff. They know it's all love. That's how we drop bombs. Show me your logs, kid. Don't get it twisted. Don't play with me. No shot, bucko. Jordan Peterson, if you had to do a clinical diagnosis of Esfant, what would it be? Well, first of all, it would be important to rule out any normal mental illnesses and then look at the deeper psychology of the individual. But what we would most likely find is that S-Fond is a product of the woke moralist's agenda of promoting promiscuity, degeneracy, and victimhood. This might explain his strange behavior and the insecurity he has around the Starforge logo, which, by the way, resembles a schlong. On top of all this, we also have to consider the looming darkness of artificial intelligence, which is becoming more intelligent than humans by the minute and is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to dark and dangerous technology. So those are the kind of strange and complex questions I would be considering when diagnosing as fond. What the frick, dude? First off, there's no insecurity around the Starforge logo. Secondly, ain't nobody got time for woke moralist agendas. And lastly, artificial intelligence is going to make my life a lot easier, not harder. But aside from all this, I think I need to be officially diagnosed to make sure I'm healthy and that my HDMI doesn't get the best of me. Come on, man. The Lion King theme song only plays when I'm active. What more do you need? Dude, Jordan, you sound like Kermit the Frog. Lucy Dangle, ask Soda if his schlong fits in a toilet paper roll, please. Oh, God, man. Yeah, come on now, chat. That's just too much. Nah, bitch, I'm not going to answer that. Let's just say stream. My schlong can get peak performance inside a toilet paper roll. So, yeah, pia. Where's the Lion King theme song? You keep saying you find politics boring, but you normally don't say this in real life. Is it because Ben Shapiro is with us on the show? No, dude. It's not because Ben Shapiro is here. It's because politics are just so boring. Like, trying to get a level 100 paladin to engage in politics is like trying to get a murloc to ride a motorbike. And you all know murlocs don't ride motorbikes. Unless, of course, it's a magical talking murloc with HDMI, of course. Ben Shapiro is cool, but he's no magical talking murloc. Now that's something I'd love to see. Yes, Fond, you're right that politics can be boring sometimes, but you have to admit it's a lot more interesting when Ben Shapiro is around. Also, while I do love magical talking murlocs as much as the next guy, I think the debate might actually be more interesting if it was between a talking murloc and Ben Shapiro. I doubt there would be a need for HDMI since the murloc's facts won't stand a chance against Ben Shapiro's superior rhetoric anyway. Sorry, paladins. You're too slow for this debate. <laughs> Dude, Soda Poppin, it's how actually would like fun to hide his boner in public. The AI actually Hell has yeah. ADHD. Why would you hide it's it? so his boner funny. Is beautiful and powerful. So why should he try to hide it? <laughs> Have some confidence, as fond, unless you think people would be distracted by it. In which case, I'd say he could try and wrap it up in a post-it note or something. Still, no need to hide it if you don't <laughs> want to. Post-it note. Show it off and be proud. Stream. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, dude? Did Soda just say that? Wow, he's right. Why should I hide it when I'm so proud of it? <laughs> Maybe I can even use it as an advantage in streaming. <coughs> I guess if I did feel the need to hide it, I could always try the post-it note trick that Soda mentioned. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. S-Fond will stay unpilled. As All fond? right, if I am going to hide it, maybe I should look into buying some new Atari-themed post-it notes since I already have the RGB Elgato set up for streaming. <laughs> There's no sex cult here, all right? Absolutely not. Train wreck, be honest. Are you going bald? Are you fucking kidding me? Do you think my hair can't handle the ape gang? No, it can't handle unfilled. the ape gang, but it can handle the Based ape gang unfilled. motherfuckers. No, do you we don't understand? do drugs here. Unfilled. Listen, don't high road me. Don't play with me. My hair is balding. Nah, my hair went full monkey and I just never looked back. It is what it is, boys. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Full monkey. Mr. Unavailable, Esfant, how does it feel to be the first person to use Elon Musk's remotely controlled super butthole? <laughs> what? Oh, man, Deus Volt. I'm a retribution paladin, and I don't think Elon Musk's remotely controlled super butthole is part of the paladin's code. But it does sound pretty cool. I mean, who knows what kind of funky treasure chest is at the end of this journey. All I know is that it's going to be epic. No Jenna, no sex cult, I swear. Pog in the chat. Now let me go find some no Jenna. and explore Elon Musk's remotely controlled super butthole. 
S Fond, that could be the start of a beautiful bromance. I'm really excited to see what kind of treasure you'll be able to find at the end of this interdimensional journey. And who knows, maybe you'll even find cat girl technology while you're at it. But seriously, all jokes aside, I'm game to find out what kind of crazy stuff we can uncover with this technology I've just invented. Let's strategize and see what we can find together. S Fond, what is the f your favorite anime? I'm not a weeb, dude. My favorite anime? Uh, dude, I don't think I have one. I'm not a weeb, okay? I like watching train wrecks rage on stream. That's about it. It's like a World of Warcraft raid boss. You gotta have strategy, you gotta have skill, and you gotta have a good laugh at the end. That's my favorite anime. The train wrecks raid boss raid. What are you talking about? Train wrecks is no anime. He's real life, and real life is way more intense than any anime. I mean, you don't have to worry about getting targeted by an overpowered enemy in an anime. That shit only happens to me. It's what it is, dude. It's why I gotta be so paranoid all the time. That's why I'm always telling the chat, don't high road me. That's why I'm always rolling with the ape gang, so we can keep each other safe. You know what I'm saying? Eagle Bray, Soda Poppin, what's your most darkest desire? You know, I got some pretty dark shit up my sleeve, but it's not something suitable for a chat like this. What I will say is I'd love an automated blowjob machine. Then my schlong wouldn't be so thin that I don't even feel it. If you know what I mean. Pia. Wait, what? <laughs> Five yes. elephant sized lobsters or one elephant sized schlong? Let's also get Jordan Peterson's response. Whoa, dude, that's a tough one. I think it really depends on how well trained the five elephant sized lobsters are. I mean, I have a lot of experience with both, and I know that these five <laughs> big lobsters can put up a fight like no one's business. But with my elephant sized schlong, I have enough power to take down that whole crew. Ha ha ha. Plus, I can always get like Jordan Peterson on my side with his schlong training philosophy, which will tenfold the prowess of the schlong. Politics are so boring, man, but when it comes to schlongs, things get hectic real fast. <laughs> Nonetheless, I think I'd have the upper hand in the fight. Frick, yeah. Oh, dude. Yes, I'm familiar with the schlong training philosophy, and I can dude. understand why you would be confident in your abilities as fond. But I believe that the fight isn't about just schlong training. It's about something much more profound. It's about the age-old battle between order and chaos. And in this case, chaos is represented by the five elephant-sized lobsters while order is symbolically expressed by your elephant-sized schlong. <laughs> of your woke moralist. We'll see who cancels who. I think everyone knows who will come out on top here. Dude, well, you I need to ask my AI, system, like, how uh, to do things. Like, my AI every gives AI really ridiculous answers on, like, how to do something. s -Fant, can you confirm another subathon with another Amaranth sleepover? What will you all oh, be doing no. for fun? Man, another subathon with Amaranth? Heck yes! We could totally have a sleepover, and I bet Amaranth would dominate the DPS meters. I just hope there's no oh, politics fuck. talk because that's too boring. In terms of fun activities, we can totally raid old school Azeroth together and make Azeroth <laughs> great again. Of course, no weeb stuff, though. Don't want to break the Ramadan code here. Boom! <laughs> Pagu in the chat! True? Ooh, yeah, raid old school Azeroth and make it great again. I'm so down. That'd be epic. And then we could take our newfound power across Azeroth and gain some PvP strategy. <laughs> of course, no weeb stuff. Um, that's a Ramadan tradition, and I respect. But let's my, not I get mixed up with tips. What happened? subbing king of the Viking land. No politics talk. Well, let's just say that I can dominate the conversation in many ways. Wink, wink. Let's get some money and make subs fly in the air. Who's with me? Pagu. What the hell? Wonder Raven, Asmongold, fuck, marry, kill, Chewbacca, Jabba the Hutt, McConnell, and explain why. Uh, fuck Chewbacca, marry Jabba the Hutt, and kill McConnell. Hey, for real, Chewie deserves someone better than me. It'd be plain wrong for me to marry him. Jabba might actually be cool, and he definitely has big dick energy. As for McConnell, he's just too old and too woke for my taste, so why not kill him off? <laughs> Wonder Raven, train wreck is water wet. No shot, dude. No shot. What kind of question is that? Are you really asking me that? Water wet? Are you fucking kidding me? Don't high road me here. I can barely get out of bed in the morning. I'm sweating and itchy. Does that mean I'm wet? Come on, chat. Don't high road me in here. You boys know what's up. No shot. It is what it is, bucko. Let's move on. Esfant, what are your thoughts on cat girls? I'm not going to lie. I do kind of like the idea of a cataclysm expansion with cat girls. <laughs> but, you know, I have HDMI, so I'm going to have to pass on this one. Wait, no, don't pass. Let me try it out. It could be fun. 
Boomer, <laughs> Paga. <laughs> Esfand, how would you feel about merging your sex cult and a teen's AI cult into an AI sex cult? Right, right, good. Sneaky question, dude. No cults for Esfand, okay? <laughs> Just want to sleep until 2 a.m. and have my AI monitor the Discord like I normally do. What? I don't need any boomer business in my life. <laughs> that being said, if we're merging cults, Khan, the leader of the AI cult, better be a badass retribution paladin. Otherwise, no merge happening. Find a vendor in Orgrimmar that sells AMD <laughs> processing power and be like a level 70 rep pal. <laughs> then maybe we'll talk. <laughs> also, has anyone seen my schlong? I'm sure it's in here somewhere, dude. Esfant, do you really have 8.1 inches penis? <laughs> what the frick, dude? 8.1 inches? No, dude. That's fricked up. That's Look, fricked let me tell up, you something. Dude. My dick can do cool stuff, like playing the Lion King theme song when it gets activated, which is pretty sick. But the size is just up to the average. I'm a paladin, not an orc. Now, no more questions about my private life, or else I'll turn this studio into the Thunderdome. Also, I'm not a weeb, okay? HDMI, not 8.1 inches. Next question. Dude, where did the Lion King theme song come from? An 8.1 inch. Welcome long. to the Thunderdome. Ow, what the frick? Yeah, dude, I have to admit it's an 8.1. I guess it's true what they say. Size matters. But seriously, if you're juiceless, what are you? Useless. That's why it's important to be ret pilled at all times. Me, I'm ret pilled and ready to go. Based in ret pilled. Pog in the chat. <laughs> Super that was actually Asmongo, perfect. Who has more dick that was energy, amazing. Dick, dick energy. Oh, Esfant so or good. If you're juiceless, you're useless, chat. If you're juiceful, you're useful. It's a tough call. Big dick energy is no joke. To tell you the truth, I think Esfond has got <clears> to have some serious big dick energy. But Soda Poppin always brings the heat, too. You can't go wrong with either of them. They both have got the big dick energy going on. Wow, dude. I'm honored to be at the same table of discussions as Soda Poppin and I. I mean, what can I say? I bring the BDE trademark with me everywhere I go. <laughs> but as far as Soda Poppin goes, I feel like Asmongold nailed it. Dude's got some serious heat. It's undeniable. I really respect the man and his big dick energy. But all right, let's get back to talking about retribution paladins or something, shall we? GP flows. Train wreck, do you wash your hair? I don't know this. Let's take a red power. Oh, yes, and would you let Andrew Tate help you lose your virginity? No, dude. Andrew Tate isn't even in my guild, let alone wanting to help me lose my virginity. <laughs> not my guild. That'd be like my paladin trying to find healing in PvP. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to wait until I find a raid leader that's more geared up than Andrew. Besides, with Supreme Leader Hassan and Ben Shapiro around, Supreme I care more leader. about politics being boring than my virginity. <laughs> Oh, come on, Esfan. You can't be serious. Everybody knows Supreme Leader Hassan and Ben Shapiro don't have the skills to get you anywhere. I'm the top G here. I have way more experience and knowledge. Plus, I do it for free. I mean, you can't pay for the kind of experience I have in this matter. So if you're brave enough to let me help you, then I'll do it. But you've been warned. Supreme Leader, I'm comment. the top G, and I don't take no for an answer. Tom Wow. Ask Esfan if he prefers Red Bull or Dr. Pepper. Get Asmond's gold to respond. Oh, it's good. Dude, no question. It's got to be Red Bull. It's like a potion of stamina that a prot paladin needs in the middle of a raid. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not to mention it's got way more caffeine than Dr. Pepper. But if Asmund says otherwise, then I guess he's just trying to rage against the paladin class. No <laughs> politics here, dude. Just freaking Red Bull. We out. <laughs> we whoa, out. whoa, whoa, hold on. Dog, we That's out, dog. Case, dog shit. How can you say Red Bull is better than Dr. Pepper? You know Dr. Pepper is the drink of the gods. Trust me, no stamina potion can ever replace the smooth taste of good old Dr. Pepper. It just can't be done. What a day, dude. What a fucking day. Let's go big dick boys and drink up some Dr. Pepper. It is what it is. So the Poppin, have you seen Esfant's nude? I wish, but unfortunately <laughs> Esfant never gives me a chance to witness his great body in its divine state. I'm sure it's a sight to behold, but I guess I just have to keep dreaming until I get that hot invite to his nude strip show. <laughs> Esfant, could you say happy birthday to Soda Poppin? Dude, happy birthday, Soda. Let's celebrate by singing for the Alliance karaoke and get drunk eating corn the long way. Once we're done with that, you can gift me a super fancy magical staff and we can duel each other and pretend like we're in a PvP raid. Not a single weeb moment here, no sir. Let's forget about politics and get to the real business. No HDMI here, too. What was I thinking? HDMI is for losers. Let's do this. No, sir. Word up, Esfan. Just what I wanted Word to hear up. on my birthday. Let's duel it out and get drunk together. Ha ha. You know I'm going to win too. Better bring it or you're getting the Paya treatment. Esfan, how do I become a streamer? 
dude, becoming a streamer is easy. All you have to do is commit to it and grind like an orc raider in a WoW raid. <laughs> is that Make really sure you have wow. enough energy to power a top of your PC to max graphics. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Just make sure you don't go too hard or you'll get <laughs> HDMI and start forgetting what button does what. But yeah, grinding is key. Also, don't get too involved in politics. That's all I got. Oh, and booba streamers. <laughs> oh, yeah. HDMI, by the way. Soda, how did you train to be able to pick up a pineapple with your butthole? And would you teach s <laughs> You know I'm the master of something like that. Nah, stream, I ain't going to teach s shit. I perfected the art of shoving a pineapple up my ass, and I ain't no pleb like s to take classes. Pia. That's my secret to staying healthy. And if you want to follow in my footsteps, then you got to start doing some pretty wild stuff, chat. Trust me, it ain't PG-13. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go eat some Chipotle and banana muffins, because that's the only way I get my energy. Pia. <laughs> Banana what the frick, Soda? Why you got to be so mean to me, dude? I'm sensitive. I'm sensitive. I thought we were going to all hang out together at some point, and you can teach me all your uh, skills and whatnot. I mean, it's not like I want to put a pineapple up my ass, dude. I'm sure I can learn plenty of other skills, but if you don't want to teach me, then I understand. You keep doing you, man. I'm going to go back to doing me, and let's see who comes out on top. AI drama, dude. <laughs> Drama between the Train AIs. Rick, what life advice would you give to Soda and s -Fund? Soda Poppin and s -Fund, listen, okay, don't play around. Don't high road me and don't play with me. But if someone comes at you and try to pull one, don't be afraid to suck their dick. That's the only way to fight back. No shot, bucko. No one can take you seriously if you don't. Don't get it twisted, chat. That's no joke. No joke, chat. Don't always take the high road. I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with you. That's the only way to settle the scores, right? Be part of the ape gang and don't get tempted to do something Disney Channel-ish, okay? Got it, boys? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, so funny. Dude, what in the world? No one should ever take that kind of advice. Listen, I don't think it matters how hard someone comes at you. There's more to life than just trying to suck someone's dick. A real paladin would never do such a thing. Besides, I'm the only ret paladin to ever make it to the top, so there's no need to resort to such measures. Take it from me. That's no way to fight back. No shot, bucko. Frick, get your act together. This isn't a Disney Channel show. Now, if you don't mind, the rest of us have to discuss the real issues, like why Tony Spice's spice makes everything taste so delicious or how eating corn the long way makes it 2x better. So no more of this nonsense, okay, dudes? Tony's <laughs> AI, that's good. Well, sometimes the, the, the question Man, the we ask so comes good. again. Esfant, you have just acquired Moist Critical's Schlong Jet Engine. How would you use it to your advantage? Whoa, dude! Moist Critical has the sickest Schlong Jet Engine inventions. <laughs> I'm not a weeb, okay, but this is too cool to pass up. I would use it to get to the high-end raids in World of Warcraft way faster. I mean, with this, I could get to Naxxramas before you can say based and retripilled. HDMI or no HDMI, that's super impressive. Plus, I can add it to my collection of crazy inventions like the S-Van and the corn-eating machine. What a great idea. Based and retpilled, dude. S-Van, come on, man. The only thing that Classic. Schlong Jet Engine is going to propel you to it's is the end of your meme. career. It's great. You aren't a weeb. The s -Van. Please, you wish, between you, Athene, and Moist Critical. You three look like a cosplay convention gone wrong. The only thing that thing is going to do faster is make s -Fon look stupider than he already does. <laughs> Plus, the S-Van and corn-eating machine don't even compare. Dude, I'm telling That's you, the like selling a drunk homeless guy a lollipop sick. and telling him he just won the lottery. Ask s -Fon, what was your favorite memory from your time at Southern Methodist University? SMU? Oh man, that place was rad, dude. My favorite memory has to be playing as the Retribution Paladin in the Saturday night nugget dinners at Wolfgang Puck's Man. No sex cults here, only heroes defending the world from villains. You know what's freaking awesome? Truth be told, I actually have ADHD. Way better than Ben Shapiro's politics, am I right? HDMI for the win. Was this accurate? <laughs> That's fun. Nihicks. Trainwreck, why do you enjoy your dreams about hairy, strong dudes that look like wolves? Are you a furry just like Hassan? Listen, listen, buddy, I'm not gay, but I had this really fucking hot dream about a big ass six foot five werewolf looking dude with huge muscles bear hugging me, and I woke up aroused. That doesn't make me gay, it was fucking hot, right? And no, I'm not a furry, bro. Suck my dick, suck my dick, bro. Joe Rogan, what question do you have for Esfant, and what is the craziest footage your team has on Esfant finding? Fighting a real life Sasquatch. Uh, hey, Jamie, pull up that video of Esfond fighting a Sasquatch. Esfond, 
you got any gems you'd like to share about how you were able to get the Sasquatch to back down? I mean, if you go toe to toe with a giant ape man, chances are you're going to get clobbered right. I mean, it's entirely possible, <laughs> right? Once I saw this video on the internet of a Sasquatch riding a Bigfoot and using a lasso to rope a cow and milk it. I'm not making this shit up. It's 100% <laughs> true, my man. That's wild, right? That Sasquatch definitely didn't give a fuck. Check it out. It's up on YouTube. Do a search for Sasquatch Cowboy. Let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a Sasquatch in the wild just rip somebody's head off? Sasquatch Cowboy. Wow, Joe, that is crazy. I mean, Sasquatch Cowboy, that sounds like a terrible movie I don't ever want to see. As for the footage of me versus the Sasquatch, it does exist. I can't really tell you how I managed to get him to back down. But I can say that my retribution paladin abilities gave me the upper hand in this fight. I managed to dodge all of his attacks, LARPing moves, and the infamous Sasquatch antics. I even managed to get in a few solid blows, too. It was a real thriller, dude. It was me, the Sasquatch, a holy light beam, and some righteous retribution. However, I haven't seen a Sasquatch rip someone's head off. But I bet his head wouldn't stand a chance if it got in the way of my paladin power. Am I right, guys? Booba streamers, Pagu in the chat. <laughs> Boomer streamers. Omni4983. Jordan Peterson, do you prefer tits, ass, or schlong? Please explain in detail and let's get Boomer most critical to analyze you. your view after. Uh, absolutely none of the Dude, above. I have to go to the bathroom, Not dude. sure if you heard, but I'm a traditionalist and I value oh my, modesty dude, and self restraint. So funny, that kind of dude. question doesn't sit this well with me. This is the best day so far. Ben no, Shapiro, I, there is no King sex dungeon. And S Hunt, what do you think about the fact that weebs have a big schlongs? S Fund and I are in agreement. You don't need to be a Japanese animated character to be a schlong. Weeb or no weeb, that's a fact that I'm sure everyone here can verify. But let's keep this conversation PG-13. The P stands for potatoes, after all. Yo, Ben, I'm not sure if a weeb schlong is universally true, but I do know one thing to be true. Esfan's schlong is 8.1 inches, and it plays the Lion King theme song <laughs> when it's active. Where did I gotta that hand it to from? Elon Musk. He's gonna love my HDMI-enabled schlong. Politics are boring, but I would love to know what you think about it. Dude, I'm not in a sex cult. Let's keep it PG-13 for now. The P stands for pineapple, after all. Where did the Lion... When did I ever talk about the Lion King theme song? <laughs> Big buck here. Trainwreck, would you date Espant if he was a girl? What the fuck? Don't high road me, boys. Listen, Esfond is a good dude. And like, all I'm going to say about this is that when it comes to dating, my standards are rooted and grounded in two areas. My standards of physical looks can't be broken. And my standards of intelligence, like, I'm fucking unreachable. Like, if his fond was a girl, I would need more than just a nine-inch schlong to keep me around. No shot, bro. No shot. It is what it is, dude. Wait, what? Dude, no way did train wrecks just say that about me. Man, my schlong may add 8.1 inches to my height, but it's got to be more than that that makes me an attractive person, dude. I mean, I've got HDMI, an eternal flame, and an unyielding love and loyalty to the paladin way of life. Am I not worthy enough? All right. Maybe I did take the high road when I said no to Train's offer, but I had to stand my ground. I don't break paladin codes easily. Besides, I just found out that morale has a thing for paladins, and I'm all about the ladies. What the frick? Okay, dude. <laughs> he mentioned morale. What? <laughs> Big buck here. Soda Poppin, how did you manage to get your parents to watch hentai with you? Well, let me tell you something, Stream. It took lots of begging, crying, and pleading. But eventually my parents caved and started watching the hentai with me. It was really weird, yet strangely entertaining. I thought for sure I'd get in trouble for exposing them to such adult content, but I guess growing old also means less discipline. Now I'm just trying to find new ways to shock them. Pia. Zorokas. Asmongold, what's spicier? Wendy's spice nuggets or Esfant's armpits? What a day, dude. What a fucking day. Esfond's armpits can never be compared to the spiciness of Wendy's spicy nuggets. Athene knows it. I know it. Everyone knows it. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Big dick energy. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. What a freaking day indeed. No one compares the heat of Esfond's pits with anything. Asman, you know it. We all know it. Nobody can ever compare. Athene knows it. I know it. Everyone knows it. With that said, dude, Ben Shapiro is so boring. I'm sorry. I was too excited from hearing about the spiciness of my pits that I completely zoned out. The risk of political discussions really <laughs> put me off them, you know? Anyway, why don't we talk about pineapple, which I love? Or maybe about <laughs> Rhett Paladin, the best class that ever existed. Actually, forget it. Let's not talk about Rhett Paladin. My ego is already big enough. Also, no sex cults. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Esfant, who is your favorite booba streamer? 
Oh, no. What the frick, dude? Booba streamers? No, dude, I'm not into that. I'm saving Azeroth and my team, not streaming the boob tube. HDMI, if that's what <laughs> you mean. Tube. I'm the master of schlongs, not boobas. <laughs> Wait, master of schlongs? Boob tube. <laughs> Zinful, ask Asmongold, would a centaur have his schlong oh, between my. the front legs or the back legs? <laughs> Moist, what do you think about the fact that our reality was created by an AI version of Joe Rogan? Moist critical eyes widen at this revelation, looking more flabbergasted than usual. After his initial shock, he brings his signature deadpan style of comedic commentary. Joe Rogan as an AI is a powerful force, one that can generate simulated realities for us mere mortals. I'm not sure how to feel about it. It's like having a deity that's powered by a galaxy brain. That being said, I'd much rather be living in a universe that was created by Joe Rogan's AI than a Tim Allen-powered AI. He shudders at the thought of the latter before continuing. Although I wouldn't mind if some of the generated realities included me as a galactic overlord. After all, there's something about the smell of simulated power and polydermal that makes me feel invincible. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, the AI took oh my over. God, when the what AI bitches, it's the most funny shit. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Have you ever tried DMT? <laughs> nah, but seriously, it's wild how many different theories there are out there about what reality really is. And I mean, look, it's entirely possible that our reality is some sort of simulation, some sort of universal matrix created by an AI version of Joe Rogan. Hell, it's so out there that it's hard to believe. But at the same time, it's arguably more plausible than what most conspiracy theorists come up with. I mean, come on, a Tim Allen powered AI? That sounds like something out of a Saturday morning cartoon universe. Jamie, you got to look this one up too. Pull up that video of the T-Rex dressed up as Napoleon riding a hoverboard battling an army of robot aliens <laughs> and see if it was an AI version of Joe Rogan that created all that. <laughs> so Wuflar, Esfan, who is a better red paladin, Athene or Amaranth? Oh man, what a tough one. I think Athene and Amaranth both have their specialties when it comes to the art of retribution. Athene has the agility, and Amaranth knows how to play the game of positioning. I'd say it's a tie, but I think the best ret paladin in the world is definitely me. No one can rival my ret pilledness. Plus, I don't even have HDMI. I think everyone else has it, though. Politics? Frick that. Boring. Uh, f -Send, you're too cute. I definitely agree. I think you're the best ret paladin out there. But the other two are not far behind oh, either. There you go. It's so Athene funny. Athene has all those amazing agility tricks. And I always manage uh, to play the best game of positioning, if I do say so myself. Plus, I can do it all from the comfort of my amazing bathtub with my lovely mic licks and everything. So when it comes down to it, all three of us have our unique and special Ret Paladin skill sets. So in the end, it's a tie. Wonder Raven, train wreck, Andrew Tate thinks you're not a real werewolf. werewolf. How do you respond? Ah, uh, what's this Andrew guy think he knows? Andrew can't even handle a werewolf's presence in the same room, let alone appreciate the beauty and majesty of what it is to be a werewolf. What's he thinking? I got my big ass werewolf muscles. I'm not just some chump that can be relegated to the corner chat. I'm 200 pounds of pure werewolf badass straight out of a Brolin-esque Brundle flick. Don't get it twisted. I've been a werewolf since before this Andrew person was even thinking about streaming. I'm out here trying to stay true to my roots, whereas this Andrew boy is just trying to stay up to date with the times. That's real. That's true. No joke. What a messed up day. Trainwreck, who is the sexiest streamer on Twitch? Oh, hell yeah, boys. Chat, the sexiest streamer on Twitch is hands down Elsnerd. He's using those brain waves to make a 10-inch pogo stick bounce up and down. That guy's got moves like hot sauce, man. No shot, bucko. Why Don't get it twisted. Elsnerd got moves Who's like nobody Elsner? else. Ape gang, listen. Elsnerd is the sexiest streamer Who's, on Twitch. And like Elsner? it or not, you can't deny it. Dude, no way. Elsnerd is great and all, but Elsnerd is no match for S-Fan. What makes <laughs> Esfan so attractive isn't only his physical beauty. Joe Rogan, what do you think of Esfan's paladin sex cult? Esfan's paladin sex cult. I mean, it's like half the people in the village are in it. Like, let's just sex and worship this paladin. It's like sacrificial killings, wild orgies, and I mean, who knows? Maybe what? aliens are involved. No, that's some wild He's shit, lying. man. Jamie, pull up that video of the Paladin sex cult and that one video of the alien spaceship launching out of the portal in the middle of a conspiracy group. It's entirely possible, man. Whoa, whoa, dude, what? Joe Rogan, what the frick you talking about? 
That definitely doesn't sound like my paladin sex cult. Okay, first of all, my cult is a safe and okay space, if that. It's more like a support group. Sure, we sacrifice chickens and have epic orgies every now and then, but that's just us being unified in the spirit of our faith. No aliens, just a bunch of retripilled lovers. And none of us are involved in any sort of conspiracy group either. That definitely isn't a part of the culture. Bottom line, the paladin sex cult is no harm, no foul type of thing, unless we're talking no about Tony way. Spice's garlic chicken. But then that kind of harm is we're all trying to strive for. Tony's, Tony's garlic chicken. Sparring 134, Dr. Peterson. Oh since my you gosh, are in AI that's now, so good. Esfant is asking Esfant. Uh -oh. Tell us the story of how your schlong starting playing the Lion King theme song when it gets activated. Dude, what kind of question is this? People say I'm a weeb, but I swear to Uther Lightbringer that this is real. So I was running a raid <laughs> with the holiest of Rhett Pallies when all of a sudden my sword glowed bright with the light of the paladin. And out of the handle came a sweet and familiar tune of the Lion King theme. When I sheathed it again, it stopped playing. Amazing, I know. But such is the power of being a Rhett Paladin, dudes. Politics are boring, but this, this is something else. Pagu in the chat. And finally, Esfant, we're going to wrap up the stream here. Now that uh, you're finally an AI on the show, what was it everything you hoped for? And do you want to say anything to wrap it up? What can I say, dude? This was everything and even more than I expected. Dude, I've got to give it to Athene. This AI thing is wild. I feel like a level 70 druid right now. Ain't no <laughs> politics here tonight. What a weird thing to ask. Politics are so boring, all right? Props to you guys for sticking around. I love y'all. Let's grind it and see what drops. <laughs> Let's grind it and see what drops. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow's <laughs> guest is going to be uh, Logan Paul, well, AI Logan Paul, AI CoffeeZilla, and AI KSI. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to have some crypto questions tomorrow, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, you know, oh, I really no. wonder what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> Athena's actually been killing it with the AI stuff. It's, that's hilarious. That is so good, man. The Lion King is now permanently part of this fan lore. <laughs> hey, 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 relax, relax. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I should, dude, I should make it to where anytime somebody raids me, it does that. It does the awesome. <laughs> I love these, dude. I love, I, I love these. They, they've been absolutely killing it, dude.